today. How are you riding the waves of energy? Today I'm going to kind of talk about riding the waves of all these energies. What the purpose might be of all these different energies coming up. What we can do to help ourselves better ride the waves. channel don't forget to click the like button if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe comment and share that really helps my channel grow so I come from years and years and years of experience at riding the waves and the best way I can describe it is by talking about shadow work so what is shadow work shadow work is when there's a huge influx of light and love into our energetic system. Everything that is unlike love and unlike light comes to the surface for us to see it and heal it and clear it. So there, I see it as a spectrum. There's a spectrum of the inner work that we are unaware of, the unconscious, what I guess is called the shadow because it's in the shadow, we don't see it. And then at the other end of the spectrum, is a higher dimensional consciousness, whatever dimension that may be, 5D, 6D, up. It could be any uh, dimensional consciousness. It doesn't have to stop at 5D. It's just that 5D has become the one that is accessible and available to us right now. And at that end of the spectrum of the 5D is ascension. And at the shadow work end of the spectrum is our programming. What is something that we're not conscious of, but that we've been programmed into just from being on this planet and growing up the way we grew up, or even anything to do with our multi-dimensional existence or past lives. That's a little more complex, but it, it's all the same. It's all the same work. It's all something coming to the surface for us to see it and heal it and release it. So the uh, shadow uh, is coming to the surface now. Our own programming that we're not aware of and that we are not necessarily um, wanting to deal with is going to come to the surface because of this huge amount of light energy that's being brought into this planet right now. This is my little Roxy. She's got a little tummy upset and she's eating grass right now and kind of letting her go through it. There we go. She's calming down now. Um, yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm doing it outside so that she's free to, you know, she wants to eat grass and then do the little thing for the tummy. She can, uh, she can do that. So part of the process of moving through this spectrum is our willingness to take a look at our programming and to actually see it reflected back to us. Um, and that comes through examining our life as it is on our outside life because we are the co-creators of our life and if we really take a look at what is going on in our life exactly the way it is we see reflected back to us all the things that we don't want to look at uh, and the resistance that we have and in having that mirror reflection perspective and embracing that and accepting that okay what does this mean what is this reflecting in me we are being challenged and asked to commit to the ascension this is how it goes and if we love and accept exactly what is in our life right now as a beautiful reflection of what is really going on within us at the subconscious level that we don't want to look at but we actually are asked to look at then by doing 
this work of dealing with what comes up, we're actually answering the call that is asking us if we are committed to this ascension process. Asking us, how committed are we really? Part of this energy shifting work is learning to detach from both the emotional surprise or judgment or reaction to what we find out about ourselves and the bliss and light and euphoria that comes as we ascend. Both ends of the spectrum, um, in order to really ride the wave of, of our own spiritual evolution, asks for an amount of mindfulness, observation, and detachment. Nothing is created out there that does not already exist within us. Think about that. It could not exist out there if it did not first exist within us. And it's very tempting to think we're being spiritual because we are into the drama of the shadow work. We are really feeling our emotions. We are really going through it. And the drama of it is thinking that by talking about it, by sharing, by s saying, I am really doing some heavy shadow work right now, uh, that we're actually doing the work. That's not the work. The work is to love and embrace what comes up. That's the work. The work is to not point the finger out there and say, this is triggering me. This is causing my programming to really come to the surface. That's not shadow work. Shadow work is looking at what's out there and going, wow, okay, I'm co-creating this. This is existing out there because it is existing in me. I'm not being triggered. I'm seeing my programming. I've been programmed, and now I can deprogram by not reacting to what's out there, but by loving that I'm seeing what's out there as a reflection of what's in here to be healed and released. So what does that look like in real life? I can make it really simple. <laughs> driving <laughs> okay everybody gets pissed off at somebody who cuts them off while driving guilty I do that uh, yeah <laughs> so someone cuts them off or oh my god the traffic is horrific and you're running late got a schedule got a schedule I'm running on my life's really important I've got a schedule to keep and uh, this traffic is just ah, my you know driving me crazy and so the shadow work is showing that, okay, I'm, I've got some tolerance issues. <laughs> and in this moment, I'm really not accepting that I just created this terrible traffic jam. But I did. And I am seeing my intolerance and my impatience and my self-importance of my important life and all my schedules. Um, but that's still not the shadow work. The shadow work in this moment is to figure out, oh, okay, so, so why is this coming up? Why am I creating this? Is this coming up for me to take a look at my intolerance? Or is this coming up for me to do some work on warping of time? I've done that. I'm in traffic and I'm really late and I just go in a, in a very slow, confident very relaxed way I just say I am slowing down time. 
try it. It's, it's actually quite funny how that can work. It's a bit of a tangent here, but it's worth it. So try it because what, a couple of things will happen. The traffic will clear up. Um, the time will seem to slow down truly, or you will get a phone call uh, from the person you have an appointment with saying, I'm so sorry, I'm running late. Can I meet you 20 minutes later? So there's uh, different things that that will happen. So there's that. Am I, is this happening so I can practice uh, my connection to all of these energy fields um, and my manifestation process and creative process? Um, is this happening right now so that I can be in touch with my anger and really love this part of myself that um, comes from the real deep place within uh, and it doesn't matter what the story is it doesn't matter that it comes from uh, heart it doesn't matter that it comes from unfair practices that I or unfair things that were done to me the story is actually not important what is important is to find the beauty of that anger as being uh, something that is just so lovable and not something to be rejected or repressed so that's one side of shadow work the other side is actually when we do start to feel this beautiful harmonious vibration this beautiful bliss you do feel bliss at times life is so so beautiful it feels like heaven on earth and that has to be a wave you write as well so when I get those waves of love and beauty and bliss, I know it's a wave I'm riding. And I'm gonna ride the wave and enjoy it in the moment, but I'm not gonna become attached to it either uh, because I am still on this planet and I wanna be fully involved in this world, really connected to people, connected to my life and everything that is in it. and in order to stay in that blissful state, I will have to isolate or uh, work at maintaining it in a way that disconnects me to um, my life, and I don't want that either. So, the way to balance it out is to not be too attached to either. And the reason that the energies are becoming so intense these days and the chaos is so out front and so big and so unavoidable is a way to teach us how to ride the wave. This is the new normal. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not gonna say the energies are going to really settle in and be all, you know, harmonious. No, this is it. What is going on is the new normal and it's going to get more intense. But we are going to learn to ride it in a way that gives us a centeredness and a sense of peace. So the best way to ride the waves is to embrace them and accept them and understand that your job here in the middle of these intensities is to ground and center and find harmony in the disharmony. When the dramatic events come up and the programming is really strong, people use the word triggered, so, so when people feel triggered, The shadow work is to not get caught up in the drama, in the high highs and low lows. So when something happens that is very hurtful and we are having a really hard time working through that, the work, the spiritual work, the soul level work is to 
I understand that we are an integral part of creating that event. And we created that event for ourselves to heal. And again, you know, I say it again and again, but it's true. The work is to learn to love and accept ourselves exactly as we are right now. <laughs> okay. <gasps> wow. Talk about frustrating. I, uh, <laughs> this is just perfect for what I want to talk about. It was so funny. So I just recorded this whole thing on shadow work and on <laughs> accepting and embracing what is. And uh, uh, oh my God, my mic wasn't plugged in. <laughs> I did not embrace that with love. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, okay, I can still use it, but oh, the volume is going to be pretty crappy. So I apologize for the volume. And if it really doesn't work to my satisfaction, I'll, I'll redo it. Um, but it's just that today's Sunday and I post on Monday and uh, it's kind of putting it down to the wire because I've got tons of stuff to do today. <laughs> Have a schedule to keep. <laughs> to wrap it up, um, the the shadow work is a deprogramming work, and of course it's painful because it is letting go and unprogramming all of what we know and all of what is familiar. And that's painful, and it's scary, and it's, uh, it can throw us off balance. Um, and that's a good thing. That is a great thing. Because by throwing us off balance, we are forced to find an inner center, an inner love resource, an inner deep connection with spirit and with the spiritual realm that over time will not throw us off balance anymore. Things will keep coming up. Things always come up. As long as I am living on this planet, things are gonna come up. But, you know, I'm starting to love this ride. Like, <laughs> it's a fun game. It really is possible to not get caught up in all of the ups and downs, roller coaster ride, and actually find a center. And part of the work, too, is that this center and this um, place of balance and groundedness can feel really, really boring <laughs> at first. And you'll have to ride that ride, too. It's a beautiful world being here and seeing it all through the soul vista it's it's really fun i'm having a good time <laughs> but it's not because i'm any less you know uh, doing shadow work and and light work and all of that no it's just that i've actually um found balance within the ups and downs and and i work you know every day at grounding so that i can be in the world and participate in the world and continue to just uh, be here to help others in their awakening journey. If I can't be there for myself, I can't be there for others. So it's, hey Bumblebee, just don't go in my house, okay? I talk to the bees. Let me know what you think of all this. Have I triggered you? <laughs> Are you wanting to defend all the drama that you're going through? Oh my god. Believe me, I've been there. What do you mean? <laughs> That's part of the work. It really is part of the work, learning how to embrace what is. So my question to you uh, today is, is, 
wherever you are on the spectrum of the shadow work and the um, ascension process, how do you ground? How do you love what is? How do you embrace what's going on? And what keeps you centered? Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate this beautiful tribe on this channel. I really appreciate that some of my subscribers are not at all into the spiritual stuff, but still watch the videos and are open-minded enough to think about things. I think that's what it's about. Many different kinds of people finding common ground. I wish you well. Lots of love. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great week.